Now then, and welcome back to another pre-release episode of War of the Spark. Opening some more packs and getting all the lovely new Planeswalkers and discussing them here with Dean. Now then. So this is 45 packs left. Now to start this uh, episode, shall we open 10? Just to see how the mechanic works for opening Go 10 on, at a time. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, it's quite fun. You, Whoa. Only, you only get to see the top end. Yeah. You just, well, you get all the oh, bonus wild that. cards as well. Yeah. <laughs> but you get to see all the top cards and forget about all the uncommons. Which, yeah, yeah. in this case, misses out a lot of the planeswalkers, potentially. Yeah, it can be a bit. Never mind, never mind. Well, we've got some good stuff here to go through. We've got another Jace. Yeah, that's good. That you I, had one I of those saw him episode. played earlier. The Raze Boar. He's quite nice. For five mana is a 6-6 six, six with Trample. Whenever he attacks, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Return that creature to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. So yeah. he's only there for the combat phase as well. Yeah. They can't be targeted afterwards. So it makes me wonder, does he go back if he dies in the combat step? Because um, at the end of the combat step, you resolve the death. So I'm wondering if he goes back before he dies. It, it would have to go into the graveyard and then return that creature to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. Mm. I'm not sure it's still a creature at that point. So yeah. it might not trigger. It'll be worth seeing how that works. See if it that triggers works, from the graveyard. It'll be fine, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> you just attack with something. Yeah. yeah. Um, when <coughs> the boar dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library third from the bottom. It's a god. It's a boar god. Yes. Ah, okay, yeah. third from the bottom. So what have we got here? This is one we've not seen. Widespread brutality. Uh, amass two. When your army is amassed, deals damage equal to a power for each non-army creature. Oh look, and it's the man and the woman and the baby from the intro video who get their souls sucked by the zombies. Yeah. Well, that, uh, they get crushed, get don't they? And the, the man gets his soul sucked. In the widespread brutality that changes Liliana's mind. Yeah. yeah. Got commence the end game when Bolos gets all of the things. This spell can't be countered. Nice. Draw two cards, then amass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. That's quite nice. It's all right. The amass effect of it, X cards. If you've got a handful of like six cards, because you've just counted cancelled that one. There are some decks that allow you if you've got Tishana or something like that, there are some decks that allow you to have as many cards in your hand as you like. No hand size, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So you could just uh win the game with that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a different Gideon at the top there? To the uh, one you already Gideon got? Gideon Blackblade, yeah, I think it is actually. Yeah, it's a different one. As long as it's your turn, Gideon Blackbade is a 4-4 human soldier with indestructible. Mm. That used to be his planeswalker style. He used to be, uh, you turn him into a human soldier that's indestructible and swing with him. Yeah. And that was his planeswalker ability. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to Gideon Blackblade during the turn. Yeah, because he's that's indestructible nice. and he doesn't take any damage. Up to one target creature you control gains your choice of vigilance, lifelink or indestructible until the end of turn. That's very nice as well. And uh, for six, exile target non-land permanent. His minus six isn't that great. Dreadhorde Butcher. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. zombie warrior, one, one for two with haste. Doesn't sound that great when no. you first look at that. Two mana. Two different colours as well for a one, one with haste. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, put a one, one counter on it. That's not bad. So you get that first surprise attack. Here you go, hasted, one, one. I'm in. Do a damage. Get an extra counter, away we go. Then when he dies, he deals damage equal to its power to any target. He's a Arsene little Vega. bit like that red goblin that has the haste for one red mana. He Early doors, he does quite a bit until he, somebody gets something out to stop him. And then he fin when, he, when he dies, he, you, you just tap him and he does an extra point to finish off the, for the one red mana, like the three or four damage you managed to get with him. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. Not bad. I think he'll see a lot of play in those bedevil red black decks. Well, yeah, he's definitely a, a red black, and he's probably a very useful red black. Yeah, I'm sure he'll see a, a lot of use, so long as you can get rid of the creatures that are in front of him. He'll just keep getting bigger each time he uh, hits. Yeah, and, and as I say, he has that go out when he when whatever you do to him to get rid of him, he's gonna do another set of damage to you just for the privilege. Yep, seems good. So, right, well, which ones have we not seen? We've got the Elder Spell, which we've seen before. I don't think we've seen this one, have we? Uh, five mana. Oh, we have. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacrifices the rest. Oh, no, that was a planeswalker ability, wasn't mm, it? This is pretty cool. Um, 
and then players can't cast creature and planeswalker spells until the end of your next turn. Mm-hmm. So it's a one. It's basically a single combat. Yeah, it yeah. makes everything a one v one. Yeah. Yeah. Choose a creature or planeswalker they control and sacrifice the rest. Each player. Handy with that uh, big uh, trampling dinosaur. Golta with the trample, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty epic either way. We've seen that one. An ineffable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and each oh. creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. <laughs> wow. So we, we've seen the two, the, the red white one that, that in the last set that does it on a single scale. Now we've got one that does it to everybody. Mm-hmm. And the flying Panthenon. The Helion. Yeah, that's a cheap wipe as well. Does a does a board wipe? Yeah, well, it's it, not necessarily a wipe, but it'll get rid of most things. It kills all the amasses as well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're yeah. all equal amounts, plus yeah. one plus ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that's I think that's all of them, isn't it? We've been through. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we get now. That's all I see. All these. That's my problem. Oh, there's one we've not seen before. Captain of Chaos, Anagrath, mm. is back from the. Uh, deep. Uh, creatures you control have Menace. That's nice. And his minus two is a mass two. So it just adds to the Dread Army. You can tell which side he's on. Yeah, if you play a weenie deck, that'd be really annoying, because you have to then block with two every time. Yeah, yeah. They just overrun you. have to have a lot of creatures. And Black Red doesn't allow you to have creatures for very long, does it? Yeah, there's another one here that we haven't seen yet. Prison Realm. Okay. Uh, it looks like Bolos is being sucked into the prison realm there as well. Yeah. Uh, that's the end of the story. Bolos pr- imprisoned. When prison realm enters the battlefield, exile target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls until prison realm leaves the battlefield. When prison realm enters the battlefield, scry one. So it's pretty much an excellent binding, but actually a bit cheaper with scry one. Cheaper with a scry effect. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll be getting rid of all my Excellence Bindings later then. As if Excellence Binding wasn't enough, now they make it cheaper version. Well, there's a lot of Planeswalkers to bind, I suppose, so yeah. It's not just Planeswalkers either, Look, it'll do creatures as well. It's creatures or Planeswalkers instead of non-land permanents. Yeah. So it's not as good as Excellence Binding. It, uh, can you get Excellence Binding enchantments? I thought it was... An... It's non-land permanent. Is it? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's not probably... Uh... So it's not as good, but it's okay. Oh, look at that. The Awakening of Vitu Gaza. For five mana, instant. Put nine 1-1 one, one counters on target land you control. Nine 1-1 one, one counters on a target land you control. It becomes a legendary elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Five mana, you get a 9-9 nine, nine land. What were we saying about the blow-up land earlier? There was there was quite <laughs> there's quite a lot of spells that is destroy non land permanent yeah and so it avoids all of those it's basically hex proof against loads of spells yeah. that destroy non land permanents um, and it's a nine nine land creature that you could proliferate because it's counters yeah pretty crazy yeah and very epic very nice yeah. like yeah, it much fun much fun to be had. Oh, there's another Planeswalker. The Dream Render. I think you got that at a previous episode. Spells and abilities can't cause their controller to search the library. Yes, yeah. yes, that's the one. And yeah. does a little mill. Yeah, I remember that one. And, and got Ergin again. Trash. That's your third. Yeah. Quite a, quite a play set you've got going on there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use him for, but we'll find something later. Uh, well, uh, clearly it's going to be some kind of artifact deck. You think? Yeah. Oh, look here. There's another one of them, look. Obelix's Cruelty. Three mana... For a minus five, minus five, that, and exile the creature. That's only one more mana than that annoying one they're using at the minute. Yes. So that's going to be another removal that Black are getting. Yep. Instead of the, the lava thingy, now it's uh, Obelix kills Birdie. There, <laughs> uh, that's the first one I've seen, but there's a wolf. An actual wolf. Yeah. You've probably We've probably had a load of them come up, but we've just not been looking at them. No. But yeah, it's a, a three, two wolf that can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Not bad. Pretty hope, uh, hopeful for a wolf deck. Yeah. Hopefully the next set brings out a load more War of the Spark yeah, type really stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, there it is again. Look. Yeah. You wait for ages for a wolf to come along, then two come along at once. Yeah, we've got the big old Cyclops that I picked over the uh, Planeswalker earlier. Electromancer. And another Jace's Triumph, which I think we saw earlier. Draw two cards. If you've got Jace, draw three. 
and ignite the beacons. Search your library for two Planeswalker cards revealed and put in your hand. Nice enough. Yeah. And another cruelty to birds. Another cruelty to phoenixes. Was... Yeah. <laughs> minus five, minus five. Go away, little phoenix. Yeah. Another oh. rare mild card going in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another wolf. Another wolf. Yeah, Arlen's wolf. We must have had some of them earlier. We must have had a few and not noticed. Yeah. Yeah. And another troll, which That's we've had nice. a while. Yeah. Another bomb dropped. Yeah. Another bond of insight. Yeah. Rare is the final finale that's, of glory. That's the pay 12 mana and win soul. <laughs> yep, Come pay on. 12 mana and have lots and lots of angels that just make your opponent concede. Might have to make a soldier deck. <laughs> pay 12 mana and win deck. Yeah. Well, now that looks like it's new. A leyline prowler, a death touch and lifelink, a 2 3 for 3 death touch lifelink that adds mana. Oh my days, that's awesome. Yeah, that is that is pretty much a no-brainer, isn't it, that one? Yeah. You, you just drop that in there for blocking, and then you've got the Billy Bonus, you've got the mana if you need it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got oh. a new Planeswalker there as well. Parter of the Veils. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. Oh dear. Messes up all <laughs> the blue decks. Yeah. And minus two, look at the top four cards in your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it, to the t uh, put it into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom in any random order. Okay, unless you've got gods in your deck. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, nobody. Else, nobody can mess with their deck and drawing except for me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. That's rather nice. That will mess those Kumister Insights decks up again. Yep. They've needed an answer. And another bigger mass that kills yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly amasses an army of death that kills you as you go. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Tyrant Scorn, That's another multi-purpose toolkit type card. Choose one, destroy target creature with converted mana cost three or less, or return creature to its owner's hand. Oh, as if those blinks were annoying enough. Well, it's a nice different way around. You can either just destroy it, or you can return a big powerful one to their owner's hand. Yeah. Right. Kind of yeah. nice. Oh, well, um, we've seen a lot of play. Seen of those. We've Murphy seen Wizards, them, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's one we've not seen yet. Vivian's Bow. Um, a legendary artifact for green. It's an artifact with green in it. That's new. I've never seen that before. Never seen a, a coloured artifact. Right? No. Um, X mana and discard a card. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may put a creature card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. It's a god retrieval bow. It is. Or, in fact, just any old creature retrieval well, bow, Well, really. if you know that a god got put third from the top, yeah, yeah. you tap it with its right mana cost and you get that god back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, and put it onto quite the handy again. if you've got some of these other things that bring your uh, cards to the top of your library, like uh, um, Vivian. Yeah, and if you scry and you know what's on the top mm. of your library or anything like that, yeah. just knowing what's on the top of your library allows you to then pay X and put it on the battlefield. Yeah. You uh, have to discard a card to go with it, but still, there's quite a lot of um, things that can get things there, out of graveyards. room, isn't there, for lots for, of things. For wiggling with that one, I it's think. Pretty good, that bow. I like that. Two mana as well. Very good. And another Chandra's Triumph. That's good, because that's a full play set, I believe. And yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And I think we've seen this one, haven't we? Yep, tap all creatures and get the lifelink for your own. Uh-huh. Let's see what's behind here. Oh, the submersible. Another submarine. Yeah. Decent. Oh, there's another one of these, look, as well. Oh, no, it's that one. <laughs> another really expensive opportunist. Yes. So I looked at it again, it's still the same thing. It's a bit of a trolley card, that yeah. one, isn't it? Oh, hey, oh, oh, that's new. She's back. The uh, Queen of the Dinosaurs, or the Planeswalker of Dinosaurs. Each creature you control assigns a combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And that's going to be another one of them wall, annoying wall deck cards. Have you seen those wall decks where they're getting, like, the adamantium wall out at 0 8? And then uh, it's all right, but I don't see why you would necessarily run a deck around that. Uh, gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. At least it doesn't have that annoying thing that removes defender from everything. Well, yeah, 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 and it it does work with walls, but a lot of dinosaurs are big attack value 
yeah. an equal amount of toughness. Lots of dinosaurs are equaled. Yeah, there's not many be, dinosaurs yeah. that have better toughness than they do uh, attack. No, no, there's I a don't few. Think there's that many. I'm sure, there's a few that give life and that kind of stuff. I'm but. not sure she'd have a lot of value to my dinosaur. Dave. I don't think so either. No. no. Strife. Monsters but there you go. That's your third, I believe. So now you've got a almost play set of yeah. uh, Sorin. Nice. That makes me happy to see that. Uh huh. Of uh, the final Jaya, yeah. Fire Mage to go to your play set. Is that new? Is and that new that's a, the other one. No, it's a it's a new one. Casmina Enigmatic Mentor, four mana for five Planeswalker. Spells your opponent's cast that target a creature or planeswalker you control cost two extra mana. Mm. Nice enough. It's going to make a mess of that blue tempo deck because that's all cat spells. Mm -hmm. uh, and create a 2-2 two -two blue wizard creature token, draw a card, then discard a card. And the forgetting your cat spells out as well. Not bad, not bad. Mm. Is, she, is she actually right. a wizard? No, uh, she's not. Planeswalker. Yeah. And the Proliferate Land. That's nice. Woot woot. Yeah. For all your decks. <laughs> yeah. Put four in all your decks now. Uh, oh, there gets another rare. That's a bonus. I've been so short. You're going to be getting loads. We've seen that. Plenty of times. And the Bond of Passion, plenty yeah. of times. So that's a good what's in the back. And the God Eternal, plenty of times. No, that's that's a quite a common rare, really, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a play set of those now. There's another Zap. That I saw. Uh, oh, we saw that one earlier, didn't we? The one yeah. with the. Sacrifice a creature, though. That's yeah. the problem for it. Yeah, not a very inspiring pack that one. No, well, only because we've seen them all before. Yeah. Oh, hey up. Bolt blend or the planeswalker on the other side. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go red and go oh shiny. Yeah, I've been playing that single color red deck a lot because it gets me through my farming. Because it gets through. Um, <laughs> the bane of the dead. Nice. This is a new one. Your opponents and permanents. Your opponents control. Your opponents. And permanence your opponent's control with hexproof can be the target of spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. Why didn't you just say your opponents and permanents they control don't have hexproof? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just uh, attack things as if they didn't have hexproof. And minus three, exile target creature. It's good for that white black deck with the mortifies and things. It also gets rid of the uh, Carnage Tyrant and things like that. Just like it does. put her on the pitch and uh, minus three, get rid of Carnage Tyrant. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, that's that's rather nice. Ooh. Massacre Girl is epic. She looks epic. She, she is epic. She's like a, a superhero from some kind of Marvel or DC universe. <laughs> Massacre Girl. That's her. That's her real name. Massacre Girl. Um, five mana for a four-four menace. When Massacre Girl enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus one, minus one until the end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets another minus one, minus one until the end of turn. So if you've got a load of little piddly little minus one, minus ones, it all, the, we have a board wipe except for Massacre Girl. Yes. Oh, Such is a massacre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, a massacre, all right. So it? long as the minus one, minus one takes effect and kills something, it becomes minus two, minus two. If that takes effect and kills something, minus three, minus three, minus three, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. It does kill yours off, but I think it might be worth it. It's a massacre. Yeah. But then 4-4 four, four Massacre Girl is still there with Menace, and they've got no creatures to block it with. Yeah, that uh, uh, is very nice. Massacre Girl's pretty epic. Yeah. And I'm going to nickname her Mazzy. Mazzy, but she's got such a cool name already. <laughs> Massacre Girl. Uh, it's like calling Wonder Woman Wummy. <laughs> Don't call her Mazzy. Don't call her Mazzy. It's Massacre Girl. Another cruel celebrant. Another They're awesome. I like that. Another one of those. Nice. And another one of those. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. Nice little pack, really. Yeah. All you need. I think I'm getting that elf deck later. Oh, we've seen him. Another Captain of Chaos. Yeah. And we've seen that. Murphic Skydiver. Murph Dave deck. Nice. And Bolos Citadel. This, I don't think, looks that good. It, it, the, the actual card looks lovely. I think it looks great, yeah. yeah. But, but then, when you start thinking about it, six mana. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost, rather than paying its mana cost. Right. And tap, sacrifice 10 non-land permanents, each opponent loses 10 life. 
It's a weird one. It reminds me of the old Hecatomb spell. Can you remember that? No. no. Not that old. It, they were worth <laughs> an absolute fortune, and I never could work out what you did with them. It's, it doesn't feel right to me. Something about paying life to cast spells doesn't feel right. Especially when you're up to six mana already. Yeah. But you can play the top card of your library with life. Mm. Which means that you could tap out all your mana. You could have hundreds of life because you've got a lifelink deck of some kind. That vampire deck does that. And you could just then burn through your library casting everything with your life that you've been accruing over the seven turns it's taken you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it. I think uh, I think it has its uses. I think they're limited, and the Can cost be. is quite prohibitive as well. Got to be a black life link deck yeah, that you keeps can, you alive yeah. for a few turns. Yeah. Quite nice. And next up, the one Here we go. Another Jace's Triumph and Let's a see Flux that. Channeler, which proliferating. See that. Let's yeah. see what's in here. And another, another Yellow Submarine. submarine. That's a shame. Blue Submarine. That was a bit meh, wasn't it? Well, at least you get some play sets of these uncommon. Yeah. Oh, that, you, is that new? Have that's the same that? one again. Yeah, that's maybe your third. That is, yeah, yeah. You've opened yeah, those yeah. renders. I remember now. Price of Betrayal, we move up to five counters. That's nice. We've seen one of those, I think, maybe two. So, so that's good to have another one of those yeah. in. And a single combat. I think we had one this episode as well. That's pretty good. Yeah. And you're about to get another mythic. Oh, oh Tybalt. Thank goodness. I was hoping we would... <laughs> Have you seen this? Opponents can't gain life. As in, mess up the white weedy deck as much as you can. And black vampires. Yeah. All sorts of decks get messed up when they can't gain life. And then you've got that little red 1-1 one, one devil thing as well, which is... When it dies, deals one damage to any target. It has its uses. It's nice enough. Personally, I don't. I think I just sit him at the side there and go, "You, you're not going anywhere." I just put him on any red deck wins. Yeah. And turn three of the curve, you play him so that they can't gain life, and you just keep firing up their face. Currently, if you're playing red deck wins and you see a wild growth walker hit the table, you may as well just press quit because you haven't got him out yet. Yeah. yeah. If you if you haven't got something to kill it before it gets too much health to kill, then it's quit time. I don't think you need any other cards really. That card in your red deck wins that was already there is just going to do the job for you in every game. I do think you're probably right. I might do a little bit of switch room with some of those direct damage spells, but yeah, you, you really don't have to think about it much, do you? <coughs> no. Nah. And a dreadhorde arcanist as well. Mm, have we seen a zombie one then, yeah? wizard? No, I think it's the first time. Yeah. A two mana one three trample. A one trample. Whenever it attacks, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost less or equal to its power from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If the card will be put into your graveyard this turn, exile instead. So you need to ramp its power bad, but it is very nice. Yes. Or put some kind of plus one, plus one while attacking or some bonus just, just like that. Just imagine a red-green deck with that silly enchantment that gives you plus one for every forest. Uh, yes, yeah, like um, yeah, an aura. The armor. Yeah, branchwood armor. Yeah. Put auras on him and make him massive. Yeah. Or oh, there's a plus seven, plus seven aura as well. You could put on him and make him massive oh, there the, as well. Oh, um, the yeah, there's yeah, there's also the enchantment isn't there? that gives him trample and seven seven. Yeah. yeah. But but then you're playing enchantments instead of instants and sorceries, and he draws instants and sorceries from your graveyard and recasts them. But that could possibly get you more land. So branchwood and him might work really well. Yeah, giants, giant growth because you can get the giant growth. Yeah, out. you pull the giant growth back and do him again. Cast something yeah. else, yeah. You maybe. could cast it once; it goes into the graveyard. He then attacks mm. with four, and then you cast it again, making him seven. Yeah, that's quite and exile nice. it. Yeah, yeah double yeah, giant yeah. growth. And he's, he's, two, he's two land to get out. That, yeah, yeah. I think he situationally he's going to have some good uses. It would work nicely in a little uh, elf ramp deck. Yeah, he would. Yeah. And now another chandra's triumph. Yeah, I think that's number five, so that's Another not such a happy sight, but that's helpful. Right on schedule. Oh, a Teferi. A Teferi for rares. Uh, three mana Teferi. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast sorcery. Oh, so bye-bye counter spells. Yep, no counter spells, no instance whatsoever, no burn your face, um, unless you're in your main phase. Plus one, until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. 
so, so okay. you can cast, but no one else can. Not only can you still cast your counter spells, you can also <laughs> cast your sorceries as counter spells. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Crazy. Nice. That's very nice. And we'll see a lot of action for three mana as well, won't it? Yeah, he really will. Uh, return one target artifact creature or enchantment to its owner's hand and draw a card. Nice I kind enough. of hope I see another one of those before the end of the uh, drawing. <laughs> o- otherwise, you're just going to have to buy three, aren't you? Yeah, I really have, yeah. <laughs> uh, have we seen a Storm the of the Stone? I think we've seen the Hari Storm yeah, of the Stone. first episode. She yeah. was like about third down, wasn't she? Uh, and uh, deals extra damage to the target creature. Another one of those. Yeah, that's nine, nice. Nine lands for five. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Ma, ma, ma. Oh, yes. Another Leyline Prowler. Yeah. Nice. See, um, I think we've had one of those. Uh, opponent can't draw more than yes, one card per have. turn, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mess up some blue decks. Yeah. I like mess up some blue and decks. And another of those. That's almost a playset of the uh, making a big, nasty land with haste. Guess I'll be making a beastly, beastly land deck then. Yep. And just when they think it's all over, you attack them with a 9 9 land. 4 4. Uh-huh. That, is that, that, we don't think we've seen that, have we? Bond of Revival. No, it's the second bond I've seen, I think. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until your next turn. It's not bad for five. It's not bad not at all. the cheapest, but it will do. Why you would want it to have haste for more than your next turn, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Rubble Belt Rioters. Whenever it attacks, gets plus X plus zero until the end of turn where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. That's rather nice, That's particularly if you've got gold to us. That's pretty nice, yeah? Yeah. And another roll reversal. Very good. That's only your second, so yep. that's pretty good to have that. I don't think we've seen that, have we? Bleeding Edge, yeah, we've had a Bleeding Edge yes, already. Yeah, we have, yeah, we've commented on the fact that it, it amasses as well. And a Rally we've of seen Wings. That. Yeah, I think that yep. we were at full play set of them now. I think you can beat me. And a Rally of Wings. Nice. Yes. Whenever you cast a copy of Instant or Sorcery spell, uh, or copy an Instant or Sorcery spell, uh, deals one damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. So if you've got the Planeswalker that copies the Instant and Sorcery for you and him out, he's doing one damage for the privilege. Yep, and then uh, uh, for nice. two, it's a Scry one. Yeah, and, and that's two as well. So, and these, what's his minus two one? When you cast your next instance or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell, you may choose a new target for the copy. <laughs> oh, so. And whenever you cast a copy of the sorcery <clears throat> spell, it deals one damage to a target. Yeah, and you can scry to look for one, and then the following turn, you can go, oh, I've got to cast it out now. Yep. Then we'll scry again. And... A very productive little planeswalker <laughs> yeah. that we're cycling up and down all He's the day cheap every day. as well, actually. The, if the, I'm honest. There's a lot of cheap planeswalkers yeah. in this set, and the War of the Spark is done. Yeah. Oh, another rare goes through. Um, add two mana of different colours. Yeah, we saw that okay. earlier. And there's the Moggy. Yep. Honor and and another Ajani, the Great Hearted. Yeah, we saw Preaches that. Vigilance, gain life, and put loyalty counters on Planeswalkers. Nice. Nice, nice to see him again. I'd love to see another Teferi. He's getting there. Another Kaya. Yeah, that's Bane nice. of the Dead. And another Mythic Rare. Might as well be a Teferi then. <laughs> Might as well, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, oh, another, yeah, yeah. That's the third, maybe fourth. Another nice one of there. Yeah. And a finale of devastation. Pay 12, win the game. Yeah, it's That's got basically to be another it, one yeah. of those, isn't it? Uh, search for mana cost X or less and put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. If X is 10 or more, creatures you control get plus X, plus X, and haste until the end of turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay X, win the game. Yeah, pay 12, win I the game. I don't even think you need to. Well, if it's 10 or more, <coughs> and then. <coughs> yeah. X is 10. Yeah. Pay 12, win the game. Yeah, rather silly. Yeah, all your elves just get plus 10, plus 10. And that, that is probably where I'm going to put that, actually. Yeah. I'm honest. Oh dear, another one. <laughs> wow, okay. We need Obviously one. very jealous people need more. out there, because they are going to be useful cards. And I think we've seen this one. Kiora. Yeah, yeah Untapped Orange target permanent. And a Kaya, another Oath, which is three damage and gain three life. Nice. And then whenever an opponent attacks uh, a creature or planeswalker. It deals two damage to that player when you gain two life. I wonder if we might see some of those control decks. You know they're using Dovins at the minute to get three life by mm-hmm. pinging it in and out. Jeskai control. 
This might yeah. come in as well with it, I think. Probably, oh, it's yeah. a pretty controly type of card. We might be seeing some white black controls. I think you've just opened the vault as well. Look. Oh dear. <laughs> so look just, at that. Just unlock the vault. That's made me really mm -hmm. happy, yeah. that as we'll open that at the end. <laughs> Death Sprout. Um, destroy target creature and search a uh, basic land. We've had those. Yeah. Merfolk Skydivers. Yeah. I think those. that's a play set. And the Soul Diviner. I don't think we've seen him. Remove a counter from an artifact, creature, land, or planeswalker you control, and draw a card. That's pretty good, actually. So, right, yeah. Yeah, with all the proliferate going on, you can just draw cards. Yeah, well, he is a 2-3 blocker that can then... And he's only 2 mana to bring out. Yeah. He's going to be in like, a lot of Dimir decks as well, because he's blue-black. Of course. Yeah, I think, I think he'll see a lot of play, actually. Yep, I think he's pretty good. It doesn't do a lot. It's supposed to, does it, Dimir? It doesn't do what it's supposed to. We've seen that. I think that's the play set there Plenty as well. Plenty of those, yeah. And possibly a play set of Bane of the Dead Kai yeah. as well. And oh. another finale of Glory. I pay 12 and win. That's the play set as well. Yep. For them. Have a play, pay 12 and win the game deck. So I think it's better. Yeah, I think you might have to go down. Have we seen this one before? Uh, yes. 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 It is Tezzeret's new wife, as far That's as I'm nice. concerned. Yeah. 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 Tezzeret's yeah, new like, wife. I like that. <laughs> and mm. oh, the moon the... looks intriguing tonight. It does, indeed. It's a full moon. Collector yes. of tales. Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanents. Bye, bye, Melindex. Cheerio. <laughs> yeah. Nice knowing you. <laughs> can't cause you to discard cards. So more dis Demir decks. Makes Demir decks even worse than they are. And sacrifice permanence is uh, like red deck stuff sometimes, black deck stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, white is quite good at making you sacrifice things. Yeah. Um, plus one, choose a non land card name, then reveal the top four cards of your library, put all the cards of the chosen name from among them into your hand, and the rest on the graveyard. Again, for the gods, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty good for elves and things like that. You just if you know that the card's coming up, you can pick it out and reveal it. Turn four, um, what's that? Three uh, mana elf that's ridiculous. Steel something or other. Steel leaf, it? yeah. Steel leaf. Oh, I'll have me four steel leaves out, thanks. One, two. It's <laughs> not going to take you long, is yeah. it? Not with elves. And that other elf that allows you to search up the, uh, the Chandler. Uh, the elf of its that name. Gives plus and put one, it on, plus one as well. And you put it on the top of the library. Yeah. And then boom, you get it into your hand. You can play it yeah. again. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Even better, so Easy if well. somebody zaps it, you go, oh, I'll have it back then. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. It's all good. That She's one's... lovely, she is. Yep. Might have to buy some more of her in a minute. <laughs> Another Angath. Yeah. Yeah. Prison uh, Realm there as well. Yeah, We've pretty good. That. Oh, and, uh, this is a new one. The new Nissa who shakes the world, legendary planeswalker. Whenever you tap a forest for mana, and add, you add an additional... Uh, green man. That's bordering on the ridiculous. <laughs> well, with especially with a forest deck, yeah. mono green Nissa deck. Yeah. Um, plus one. Put three one one counters on up to one target non creature land you control. Right. Non creature land you control. Yeah. Untap it. <laughs> it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with vigilance and haste. It's still a land. And it still gets proliferate as well. Yes. And which it, is silly. It's still got that. Non land permanent thing that you can't yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wow. And then minus eight, you get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards, put them onto your battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. Cheerio to any deck that destroys land, then basically. And with the Blanchwood armor deck that we were talking about uh, earlier. That'd be horrible. She just goes, boom, 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 I'll have a couple of lands, and then, boom, we've now got all of the forests out of our deck, and this one guy's massive. Yeah. It could, in fact, be one of the lands becomes enchanted with yeah, Blanchard yeah, Armour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't put it on anything else, would you? <laughs> you got, You'd have a load of elves to get her out and just keep her alive for a little while. you got a 25-25 forest <laughs> running yeah. at her that's indestructible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's game over, isn't it? Yeah, really? pretty much. Yep. Yeah. It's a game over win card. Yeah, we like that. We like you a lot. Oh, Another Obnilix. Yeah, yeah, we've the seen The Hate him. Twisted. And the Parthenon 2. Parth mm. Parhelion 2. I really would like to see the Parhelion. 
Parhelion. I don't know if there is a Parhelion. Maybe Parhelion came in a previous set. I'm assuming like you perhaps did, yeah. Guilds of Ravnica 1 or something, maybe. <laughs> Uh, flying first like vigilance five five with a crew of four that makes angels very nice. Yeah, only five more to go. Angel factories are always nice. Though, let's face it. Angel factory, yeah. the flying thing that makes angels fly. Oh, I wanted one of these. A sunblade angel. Yeah, they they're, they're kind a of nice. Mana. They're kind of expensive, but if you're playing that Ori deck, it's a six mana for a three three that does everything. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. And I mean, if you've got your Blanchwood armour, that thing's invincible. <laughs> if you got your Blanchwood armour on that, that'd be silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flying First Strike and Vigilance with Lifelink is And then incredible. you've got your little Planeswalker sat there that goes, oh, I want you to be indestructible. I want you to be yep, indestructible. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah. We've seen that as well, which is quite nice. Yep. Oh. Uh, and the Double Spark. I don't think we've seen this one yet. No, I don't think we have either. Four mana zero zero. You have a spark double enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control. Except it enters with an additional one one counter on it. If it's a creature, it enters with an additional. If it's a creature, it enters the, uh, with an additional loyalty counter on it. If it's a planeswalker, and if it's a isn't legendary. And it isn't legendary if that permanent is legendary. Okay, so it kind of duplicates Planeswalkers and gives them plus one extra loyalty counter, or duplicates a creature and gives them plus one plus one counter. It's a mirror image that can do Planeswalkers and gets yes. plus one plus one counter. Yes. And it's one more expensive than a mirror image. It's a four mana bolos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you've already got Nicol Bolas out, it's a four mana Nicol Bolas that's got the same I was telling you about the infinite loop on the battlements? That would work with that. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty yeah. cool. It's crazy. The things you can get away with that. Yeah. I, I still think this is just amazing. And I love the artwork on it as well. Six mana's a bit cheap though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the, that is the big downside. Another oh. Obnilix. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, Interplanar Beacon. Whenever you cast a Planeswalker spell, gain one life. Mm. Add mana. For one mana, add two mana of different colours. Spend this mana to cast Planeswalkers. It's not bad. Not bad at all. No. Crush. And oh yes! Another tough area before the end of the episode. I said because... I wanted to see one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, another one. That's good. Yeah. So I'm going to hit uh, another rare before the end of the, ep the end of the openings as well. Uh, Samut, the Tyrant Smasher. Creatures have haste. Yeah, we saw him earlier, didn't we? Yeah. He's pretty good. Um, this is Triumph. Make a big land. Yeah, it? that's it. Get get more land out, basically. Two forests. Yeah. Or yeah. search up three land cards. Yeah. And another reversal counter spell. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's not quite a counter spell, but it kind of counter spells. Yeah, yeah. It copies your own spells. It's, it's amazing. I just love it. That's a great card. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was another one of those landy things. That's almost the same pack, though. It's almost the same pack. Let's see what the rares are same. No, no. it's a god. It's I, a new god. Have we seen this one? I don't think we've seen this one. No, I don't. For five, it's a 5-5 five, five with death touch. A reoccurring god with death touch for 5-5 five, five is That's pretty nice. impressive. Yeah. In green as well, you're kind of missing a green god. Yeah. With plenty of spells <laughs> in green that allow you to bring it back out and onto the battlefield. Not ball green. No, he was red, wasn't he? Uh, red green or green? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, when God Eternal Ronus enters the battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until the end of turn. Oh dear. Those creatures gain vigilance until the end of turn as well. Ronus wins. Yep. <laughs> Five mana, Ronus wins. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's going to be healthy. <laughs> and the last pack. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? It's a... Oh, uh, you've got one a we've not seen. God statue. Um, spells you your opponent cast cost two more to cast. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life. Oh dear. Wow. It's quite expensive, but, but it is silly. It does work for you. Yeah. It? It's easy to remove those. That's You're only going to get one out, though, because it's a legendary artifact. But still, yeah. I think... You know, artifacts are easy to remove in old sets, but yeah. not so much in the later ones. Yeah, that that could see some play. There is still removal for them, but maybe. Yeah. Uh, More Jace's triumph. Yeah. Draw yeah. two or draw three. And plain Ooh. wide celebration. Oh, that clearly, clearly, that looks like Nicol Bolas's death. 
It does, doesn't it? Yeah, he really doesn't look very healthy there. He's not looking very happy at all, I don't think. Looks like they've just killed the uh, big bad and they're celebrating over it. Plain wide celebration. Um, it's very much a birthright orientated thing where all the good guys come together and uh, take out the big guy. Yeah. Uh, choose four. Choose four. Okay. <laughs> like all of them then, okay. Yeah. You may choose the same mode more than once. So you can have like you can return four permanents to your hat. To your... You can proliferate four times. Yeah. You could gain four life four times. You can return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand four times. That's nice. Or you can create two two citizen creature tokens that has all colours four times. That again is rather <laughs> nice, isn't it? It's kind of crazy, but it is a plain wide celebration, and it would be great in a green ramp deck again, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's a lot would be great in that deck. I don't think there's a lot of space in it. <laughs> Oh, and to round things up, a vault. That's always welcome sight, that is. Look at it. All the glistening rares and mythics. Do you get to uh, uh, open them now? It's like, no, they, no, they're they just all wild, wild cards. cards. Okay. They're just wild cards. Just the wild cards. This is my second vault, and, and only, literally only my second vault, so. Not bad go. at all. Well, thank you, Dean, for opening all your packs in front of everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show, folks. Um, don't know as we'll be doing it every week. <laughs> no. Maybe on the next set release, if they do another one of those nice pre-release bundles that was a bit cheaper, I might just invest and come back and we'll have another um, opening. Another good pre-release bundle. So don't forget to leave a like and some comments down below to thank Dean for his uh, um, opening packs. And I will see you in the next episode of Magic the Gathering coming soon. Now we've got the War of the Sparks to start opening cards and building some new decks. See you soon, and goodbye. Goodbye.